Take a look at this little thing right here. This is actually an aneurythristic scaleless corn snake. Good morning, everybody. It is so great to be back in the state of Texas. I hope your day is starting out amazing. I am going to be heading over to the NARVC Reptile Show in Arlington, Texas right now. Should be a pretty interesting day. I'm gonna go check out some cool animals and bring you guys along. What do you say we get going? So I made it to the Reptile Show and everyone is just getting set up. I think that it opens in about an hour and a half. I just gotta bring some t-shirts in and set them up, but uh, then you go check out some cool animals. So all I have to do is set up my t-shirts because that's all I have at the show and then I can go around and check out what kind of cool animals are here. So the reptile show is about to open. It is about 10 minutes to nine and these guys right here, these two right here have been waiting since what time? 6.30. They have been waiting since 6.30 in the morning to get into this reptile show and that, that's just crazy. But look at this line right here. What are you guys looking to get? Uh, green tree python. Green tree python. That's a good choice right there. You get anything? Uh, I'm just upgrading my stuff. Just hanging out. That's a good thing. These guys are going to have a good time. Thank you guys for coming out. And I'll see you guys in there, all right? So there is the line, guys. These guys are going to get in here in about five or ten minutes. And it's going to be mayhem. So let's go check that out. I am going to go ahead and continue to tackle my fear of bugs and I'm gonna mess with this rose hair tarantula. And the thing is with rose hairs is that I'm actually good with them. I of course have one named Zombie. As long as they're not too fast, I'm all right. But this guy, I don't know what's gonna happen. Come on. There it goes. Come on, come on. There you go. Look at that little guy. <laughs> See this is I love this. This is absolutely awesome. See when they move really slow like that it doesn't bother me at all and and you know guys I'm telling you what just two years ago if I even thought about doing something like this I'd be in cold sweats panicking I'd probably pass out and, and literally right now look at them Right now I absolutely have no fear of it whatsoever. I think it's actually an amazing little guy Gosh, it's cool and again. This is a rose-haired tarantula and these are typically known to be pretty docile i'm not going to be doing this with a goliath furry gear or something like that but uh this thing is really cool let me know in the comments would you guys hold a tarantula i think it's pretty cool actually i'm starting to become a tarantula lover remember when i got that really cool chameleon shirt it was boris the chameleon well guess who is here right now take a look it's so awesome and again that shirt that's the blue shirt version they have all kinds of really cool shirts and this this animal is freaking awesome. Literally, that lizard right there, that chameleon, is more famous than anyone I know right now. So make sure to follow Boris the Chameleon on Instagram. Finally, I get a chance. That's what's so awesome about these shows. I get to meet people that I follow, and it's so cool to put the faces to the Instagram accounts or YouTube. Yeah, it's so wild. cool. Uh, awesome. Oh my gosh, look at how cool. It's been an incredible morning. I've met so many great people, and uh, it, it's just always inspiring. But right now, I'm with Samantha, and Hi. Samantha, I just met her, and guess what? Tell me what you told me. I watch your video all the time and it's inspired me to get a snake of my own bow constrictor listen Samantha just got her very first snake and it doesn't matter that it's about it's the point is that she loves snakes now and this is so awesome I'm so excited for you <laughs> so there you guys have it see that's what's great about these shows is that people come and they can meet people and talk to people and get inspired and then they get a really great animal so Samantha not only has a great animal and that thing is absolutely gorgeous but now she literally has a network of people that she can really go to and learn as much as she can and, and I, I have a prediction Samantha you're gonna have a ton of snakes in the future because you're gonna love 
love them that much. Yeah. Look at this tegu. I mean, it's really a beautiful animal, and uh, and it's really super tame. You know, it, it's pretty unusual for them this size to be as calm as this one is. So. Uh, it's super cool. Hey guys, take a look at this boa right here. This thing is absolutely gorgeous. This is a pink panther motley boa. So the pink panther is basically a lime bread trait that has just kind of a nice pink hues and makes them really beautiful. And then of course the motley is a co-dominant mutation of boa constrictor. When it comes to boas, I mean, I'm gonna be honest with you, kind of the, the motley stuff is my absolute favorite. Just look at this little guy. Whoa, he's so cute. Guess what, guys? I've got a gift from this beautiful little girl here. What do you got? I'm getting excited. Oh, look at how cute it is. Oh my gosh. Blue tongue skink. Look at, guys, it's a blue tongue skink. What's your name? Bailey. Oh my gosh, Bailey. Thank you so much for my blue tongue. Look at how cute it is. It's got a little blue tongue. Thank you so much. I'll treasure it. I'm going to put it in my office, okay? Go look at this little thing right here. This is actually an aneurythristic scaleless corn snake. So you guys know I love the scaleless stuff, but this is an aneurythristic scaleless. Whew. I tell you, when it comes to the scaleless corn snakes, aneurythristic scaleless, which are basically just black scaleless corn snake, definitely my favorite. I mean, take a look at how cute that little thing is. Woo! And a little baby blue tongue skink. This is a northern blue tongue skink, but this is one of the Turner White. Really amazing. And the Turner Whites, what happens is as they get bigger, they get more white and more just kind of washed out. This is her, look at this, a little, a little feisty monkey. So this guy is really cute. I gotta highlight these every time I'm at a reptile show. I'm about to kill you with cuteness. Look at this little leopard tortoise. Oh my gosh, that is such a cute little tortoise. Now, leopard tortoise aren't the giants like, say, the sulcatas, but they can still get pretty darn big, and they are just absolutely adorable. And of course, little leopard tortoises like this even get prettier and prettier as they get older, so. But just take a look at that cute little face. If that doesn't kill you, I don't know what would. Yeah, that's an owl. Take a look at this. This is a pastel calico yellow belly ball python. And you know, I just love ball pythons. I've been loving them forever. So when I walk around the show and see something that really catches my eye, like this beauty right here, I have to show it off to you guys. There is so many cool animals. I'm glad I finally got out from behind my table. Alright guys, there are times when I'm walking down the way and I see a snake and I literally stop in my tracks and go, what the hell is that? And that's what this animal is. This actually is a Hypo GHI Mojave. Now the GHI and the Mojave just kind of mix together and make this kind of really dark snake. And then you add that, that Hypo into it, it almost turns like a gray color, grayish purple. I mean, that is ridiculous. That's a ball python right there, guys. What do you think of that? My God, that is absolutely insane. I tell you, I strongly suggest, if you haven't been to a reptile show, even if it's a small reptile show, you should really get out. There are some amazing animals, some really cool people, and it's just a really cool experience if you yeah. ever have a chance in your area, and there are reptile shows all over the place that I'm sure you could find one. It is absolutely a blast. All right, so the show is over, packing up and heading out, and it is absolutely gorgeous out here. And look at over here, guys. We have where the Texas Rangers play right across the street, and then down over here, if you can see in the distance, that's actually Dallas Stadium where the Cowboys, <laughs> where the Cowboys play. So this is absolutely an incredible area, but the show was super fun today. Okay guys, I am back at the room and a lot of my friends are quite frankly going to the auction, the big charity auction for what's called USR, big reptile advocacy group. They're going out to dinner, they're gonna have a good time. I, on the other hand, am back here at my hotel room. I have to edit for the next probably four to five hours. Really, I wanna really put a tremendous amount of energy into being a YouTuber. I love vlogging, I love sharing my life with you guys, bringing you along on all my adventures. And I wanna know from you guys, am I heading down the right path? Are you enjoying the vlog? What do you wanna see in future vlogs? I know I've been doing some stuff on this travel that isn't always reptile and animal related. 
Is that okay with you guys? Do you like when you see Lori driving fast or us staying in a huge house or us doing crazy things? Because I really like to do it. That's the type of stuff that I do when I'm not doing animal stuff and I'd like to share that with you. But at the same time, I'd like to know, am I heading down the right path? I don't want you to think, oh, Brian isn't what he used to be. He's not doing animal stuff. So this is what I always have been. I'm just now sharing it with you guys. And I want to make sure that you guys are enjoying it because in the end, I really want this vlog to be successful. This is what I love doing. I I don't mind the fact that I'm not going out and hanging out and having a good time with my friends. I'm here editing and putting the story together, the story of today, so I can share it with you guys. I hope you guys are enjoying it and appreciating and also taking the message that if you want to achieve something, you have to be willing to sacrifice to make it work. I'm sacrificing some of the fun that I might have to bring what I think is an amazing thing to life. And that's my vlog. I hope you guys are appreciative and enjoy it, but I do want your support and I appreciate your support. So I want to hear what you guys think about that. Regardless, I hope you have an amazing day. Do something awesome today and make sure to be kind to somebody. Again, sometimes a random person needs a smile or a door open or whatever it might be. Do that for me and I promise I'm going to see you guys tomorrow. Yeah.